Tulawani is the founder of the social enterprise Her Genuity Africa, which supports female migrant entrepreneurs of African descent to start and grow successful businesses. It is born out of her own experience. The challenges of, for example, being a, a migrant with no support uh, in terms of family and all of that, the linguistic challenges, the, the, the legal challenges, trying to navigate through um, unfamiliar terrain in terms of um, regulations and all of that, but also saying it as it is, discrimination, because you're African, you're black. The key failings that I have noticed is that stakeholders, policy makers, they want a one size fits all for ethnic minorities in terms of supporting them to become uh, economically and socially independent. It doesn't work that way because ethnic minorities are a very diverse, heterogeneous group, but we're treated as if we're homogeneous. And so programs or interventions are rolled out. The programs are developed without our buy-in, without our involvement. You know, we're looking for co-creation. Get us involved. Help us to say what we want to say. Give us the opportunity. Help us to know that whatever we're saying in terms of what we need is valued. And it is actually part of what goes into creating the final product. When you talk about integration, it's a two-way street. Integration is opportunity draw from other communities the strengths, the opportunities that are there. So everybody's sitting at the table and nobody is better than the other or bigger than the other or wiser than the other or more civilized than the other. Tularani then speaks about other barriers she has experienced. That it's hard to break into an indigenous market. So you're kind of creating and selling around your community. You can never grow that way because we are not enough to create a business out of, you know. And then uh, other barriers that, the barriers that I've mentioned would be, of course, regulations, you know, that are uh, hard to navigate sometimes. Access to funding, you know. And access to funding because most of us have no collateral they're looking for. Um, research talks about the triple disadvantage, you know, that you are a migrant, you are a female, and they're a migrant from a developing nation, especially the black nation. And it's you being able to navigate through all of that in spite of, actually not in spite of, because of. So when I walk into a room, my circumstance is very high, not in spite of, but because of who I am. So my finest point, my, my biggest point, anywhere I go is the fact that I'm African, I'm female, an African developing nation, I'm black. Tulawani offers advice to women who want to develop social enterprises. The woman should be very clear about why she's going into it. Because okay. there's a lot of, you know, the things that will stop you. Be open to working with, with teams, people, you know, sharing your ideas with people who know what to do. So don't no. keep, at the end of the day, it's about serving the needs of people. Being clear about who I'm serving, what I'm serving, what, what I'm offering to them, you know, and being clear about how I do it. So the communication is key really, and it's not about me, it's not about how, what suits me to communicate, it's how that person gets it, do they get me with you. So there's a lot of um, interpersonal play there, really. So essentially you're a people person, you're a leader, you're a shaper, you're a supporter, you're a motivator, you know, you're an inspirer, you're, sometimes you are an um, advocate, there's so many things to many people because you want them to get what you're doing 